This is Dee and this is the Come Up Straight Up. Today I'm going to talk about the art of being spoiled. I'm going to talk about the characteristics of the women who do get spoiled and the characteristics of the ones that don't. As a woman who has been spoiled um, throughout her adult life, I'm going to um, tell you what the characteristics are of women who get um, spoiled versus those who do not. And I'm going to give you some sort of practical sort of you know examples of my life as a, a spoiled woman just a couple of just practical examples because i think a lot of women get discouraged uh, by thinking that if he can't fly you on a private jet he is not spoiling you or um he does not have the ability to to spoil um and that's just not the case but before we get into all of that you guys please 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 do not forget to Subscribe, you guys, subscribe to this channel and uh, do not forget to turn on notifications so you are aware whenever I upload a great a new video uh, just like this one. And please do not forget to support my beauty and lifestyle channel, Pretty and Things. The link to that channel will be below. All right, guys, let's get right into it. So what does it mean to be spoiled? Now, um, if you look at the definition of spoil, it actually has a sort of negative connotation. But when it comes to how a man treats a woman, it is absolutely essential to be with a man who will spoil you. And for me, spoil simply means a man who will pamper you, a man who will go the extra mile to make you happy. So what are the characteristics of women who get spoiled? What is it? What separates them from the women who do not? Number one, women who get spoiled expect to be spoiled. They are not afraid uh, to ask for the things they might like and they know how to receive. That is extremely important. A lot of women don't know how to receive from a man who will in fact spoil them they feel uncomfortable they feel the need to reciprocate rather than just graciously accepting his kind gesture and simply saying thank you this is something i learned um early in my adulthood from a white women i cannot thank them enough because this is something they have Pat, we would go out to these wonderful dinners and take these wonderful trips and uh, spend the, the day on Lake Michigan, just enjoying ourselves with high value, high quality men and you know, giving uh, nothing in return except a thank you. Because women who get spoiled don't feel the need to reciprocate. We are not hookers. When uh, someone, a man, does a kind gesture for us, we show gratitude and appreciation. But that gratitude and uh, and appreciation is not um, does not manifest itself in you know doing you know sexual favors uh, like a lot of women somehow feel obligated to do. A man can buy me a Mercedes Benz, a Rolls Royce, a mansion. And I feel absolutely no obligation to do anything. And when you are a woman who basically feels like if somebody does something for you, you owe it to them to do something for them, uh, you will not be spoiled because your relationship with that man and then becomes transactional. I do this for her and then she's going to do this for me in return. And that's not the essence of being spoiled. Women who get spoiled are also feminine women. Yes, I've said it once and I, I will say it again. Feminine women whose um, company men enjoy. Women who are not combative, 
women who listen, women who keep themselves up, who look great, who smell great, women who men see as an asset to them, especially if they are, you know, high value, high quality men. They want a woman who is reflective of them. Women who get spoiled are also a good listeners. They don't feel the need to go on about themselves to try to impress this man. They sit back, relax, and let the men pursue them and impress them because the, the type of man who will spoil you will want to impress you as well. Women who get spoiled have their own lives. And by having their own lives, that means that we are not waiting by the phone for any man to call us. But the men in our lives also know that if they don't do certain things for us, we are high quality women and there are plenty of men who will. And, and as I said before, you guys, it doesn't have to be, you know, swimming pools, movie stars. Let me give you just a practical sort of example of a time that I was spoiled. I was dating this guy and he, you know, comes, his father is a doctor. He comes from a very affluent family and he himself was in a medical sales. He was director of medical sales and, um, you know, we, we had a wonderful time. He had this beautiful house in uh, Indiana, right outside of Illinois. And he also had this, this beautiful condo on uh, Lakeshore Drive in, um, in Chicago. And if you're familiar with uh, Lakeshore Drive in Chicago, um, it is beautiful. It is a very affluent area. In addition to being this, this uh, sales director, this guy also had a side hustle. And in the summer, he has this, he sells fireworks. He has this fireworks business in Indiana. Here in Illinois, it's illegal to sell fireworks, but in Indiana, it isn't. So a lot of people from Illinois will go to, you know, Indiana to buy their fireworks. And of course, a 4th of July is the, you know, the big time for fireworks when people buy uh, their fireworks. That's when he was super, super busy. Um, of course, I wanted to hang out during, you know, 4th of July weekend and have a good time. It's always a blast here in Chicago, but he had to work. And that's another thing, you guys, high uh, quality men, men who have stuff going on, have to work. They're not always available to you like clear 20 grand um, over the course of a summer because he had this fireworks business he could not spend that weekend with me and you know I was a little disappointed although I understood he had to work but he wanted to make me happy he wanted me to enjoy the weekend so he gave me the keys to his luxury high-rise apartment on a Lakeshore Drive um, he also, you know, because he had this, this fireworks business, he was like, look, if you want to, you know, I hate to ask you, but he's, I'm in Indiana. If you're willing to drive out here, I will give you, you know, well, actually I had to go out and pick up the keys, but he said, I will also give you some, you know, fireworks for your nieces and nephews. I was like, cool. So I went out there, uh, to Indiana, grabbed the keys to his place. And he gave me this enormous box of fireworks for uh, my 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 nieces and my nephew. You guys, um, we went downtown for the 4th of July weekend. I invited my family. We kicked it at his condo. We had a blast. And uh, he was, I mean, he left cocktail. He left, you know, liquor for us to, to enjoy, food, everything. All because he was a man who wanted to pamper me, who wanted to spoil me, who wanted to make me happy. So that is sort of a practical sort of um, example of being spoiled and what it looks like. Women who get spoiled are appreciative. That's that's very important in, in all, it's just good manners, right? When someone does something nice for you, you show your appreciation and gratitude. You know, men are very simple creatures. You know, it doesn't take a lot to uh, make them happy, particularly if they are the type of men who protect and provide and, and want to spoil and pamper their woman. 
you know i i dated a man who his thing was like he had he liked honey nut cheerios now he took me wine and dined me we had a great time together but i honestly you guys never ever you know i never so much as bought a lunch or breakfast and nothing and he understand that as a man it was his duty to spoil me and take care of me and make sure i was happy however i uh, was at the store one day and i saw that there were in addition to honey nut cheerios there were different kinds apple cinnamon just like three four different kinds other than the one that he liked and i thought hmm you know what i'm going to pick up the 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 honey note that the honey nut that he liked as well as these other different ones to surprise him with now that was a very 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 small investment on, on my part but when i brought him those boxes of cereal you guys he was he was just so touched not because of you know how much i spent in which you know i didn't spend 20 bucks on those boxes of cereal just the fact that i was thoughtful and i got him something that he actually liked it was personal it was you know something that it was thoughtful in order to get spoiled and stay spoiled it's really important to show appreciation in ways however small men like women who show appreciation particularly if they are spoiling you and putting forth the effort to make you happy now let's talk about the characteristics of the women who do not get spoiled number one they don't get spoiled because they don't believe they can be or should be they lack the confidence the the self-esteem and because they don't see themselves as the type of woman who gets spoiled and pampered they do not engage or attract those type of men another characteristics of women who do not get spoiled is they are eager to please women who do not get spoiled are afraid or, or do not say no which means they have you know little to no boundaries because they are doormats who are willing to do anything to please when you are someone like that men do not respect you they don't have to work for you you are so you see them as the prize and because you see them as the prize they know that they can run they can run over you they don't do for you because they know they don't have to another woman who does not get spoiled is the masculine woman the woman who always wants to take charge the woman who always wants to wear the pants this unfortunately is the case for so many black women who have the you know, strong black woman mentality and they have that because uh, you know a lot of black women are single mothers who are the heads of the household because so many black women in our community assume the masculine role of provider um it, within the household because so many black women have this this tough exterior we are not seen as women who first of all have men in our lives or need men in our lives we are seen as basically the the extension of men in our community society as a whole do not see us as gentle or vulnerable or women who desire help women who are deserving of help women with this almost defiant i can take care of myself attitude uh will always have to take care of themselves men who pamper women enjoy doing so and if you are the type of woman who will reject his gestures of kindness of um his attempts to please you and make your life easier in some way you're going to run him away 
if you're a woman who, you know, I, you know, when the check comes and he offers to pay, you're like, no, 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 I'm going to pay by half. I'm an, you know, independent woman. I'm a liberated woman rather than gently and kindly sitting there and saying, thank you. You are not the type of woman who will be spoiled. If you are combative, if you are aggressive, if you are a woman who is um, a contrarian, he says something, you always you know, want to come back with a different point of view. You want to argue. Um, another characteristic of women who do not get spoiled is they do not value their physical appearance. They do not keep themselves up. Now, when I say physical appearance, I mean, I do not mean, mean being a size zero because there is someone out there for everyone at every size. But if you are a size 16, be the best looking size 16 you can be. And lastly, women who don't get spoiled waste their time with men who will never spoil them. Women who don't get spoiled, engage, trifling, broke, selfish men. Women who do not get spoiled, continue to make the same mistakes. Women who do not get spoiled, date the same man with only a different face. Women who don't get spoiled, choose poorly. Women who don't get spoiled, ignore red flags women who don't get spoiled put themselves in the position of victim uh, women who don't get spoiled refuse to change a losing game so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did thumbs it up you guys please a thumbs it up and do not forget to follow me on instagram and twitter my handles will be above as well as below. So until next time. Mwah.